welcome to the tutorial on how to get the credentials that you need in order to add your Bluehost database to your existing CodeGuard account. My name is Josh and I'll be taking you on this journey today, so let's get started. Now the first thing that we're going to want to do is go over to your main dashboard for CodeGuard and we're going to go ahead and click on our existing website. Now from there, we can see towards the bottom, it asks us, does this website have a database? And since it does, as it is a WordPress site, we're going to say add database. So the first thing it's asking us to do is to test the connection with the database host name or IP address. So let's go over to Bluehost website and get that now. First thing we're going to do when we're here is we're going to go ahead and go to the cPanel. And from that cPanel, we can see here our shared IP. Now, if you have also watched the last video, you'll notice that this is the same IP address that we used previously. Um, that is going to be exactly what you want to do since your IP address for the FTP and the IP address for the MySQL are going to be the same. So we're going to go ahead and grab this IP address right here and copy it over and paste it into CodeGuard and test out the connection. Now I have the database IP address here and we're going to test the connection. So let's see what happens. So as you can see it went through. Both firewalls are not in place for the specific IPs that we are testing from, which means we have access and we are fine. So the next step is to whitelist the IP addresses. And what we need to do is to take these IP addresses one by one and input them into our remote MySQL on the cPanel. So what we need to do over here on Bluehost is scroll all the way down and go to remote MySQL. From here you can see that it's now at the add and access host page. So what we do is I already have them whitelisted over here because I did that before the video, but one by one, just take these, copy them, and paste them in here and click add. Now after we've whitelisted the IP addresses, it's time to go to the next step, which as you can see here is to add the credentials. So it automatically filled in the database hostname or IP address that we used previously. But now we need to also get our username and password. Since we're going direct MySQL, we won't need the SSH information. So let's go back over to Bluehost and get that. From here, we're just going to scroll all the way down again, go to the database tools, and click on MySQL databases. Now from the MySQL databases page, we're going to scroll down to the bottom and we can see our current users here. So this is what we're going to use as the username. Now the password, I went and said set password, and I just reset it to something that I knew it was going to be. You can also use a password generator to get a more secure password, but the password I was using was very strong anyway, so I didn't have to worry about that. So once you've done that, press change password and then go back. So now that we know what these two pieces of information are, we can go back over and input them here into the Add Credentials page. So as you can see, I have gone ahead and filled in all the information here on the Add Credentials page, and now it's time to go on to the next step. From here, I can go ahead and select the database that I want to add, and then click Add Databases. Now we can see that the database is already beginning to back up. So all we have to do now is go over to the dashboard, and now we can see that our database is pending under our already completed website. So that is how you can add the database that goes with your CMS website or otherwise to your existing CodeGuard site. Thank you so much for watching, and sayonara.